स्पेशल ब्रॉडकास्ट इज दी एन आई ए डी जी मिस्टर वाई सी मोदी इन फैक्ट ही इज द मैन हुज इन्वेस्टिगेटेड दिस इंटायर केस बैक इन ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी दिस केस वॉज मोदी let me take this question to you today this conviction yasin malik sent to rigorous imprisonment the nia was seeking death penalty the challenges that the nia has really faced in getting evidence against yasin malik tell us a little bit about that shalom uh, now it's a matter of great satisfaction that we have been able to achieve uh, what Uh, we wanted to prove to the uh, as an investigating agency that uh, he is a terrorist he had been openly bragging they were uh, he along with others has been committing different acts of terrorism openly and brazenly but uh, unfortunately uh, perhaps uh, uh, we were not able to till that uh, we registered that case we were not able to uh, take him to the logical conclusion he commit uh, he started committing this terrorism acts in late uh, 80s and he killed four uh, 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 air force personnel uh, and uh, everybody knew about it but uh, uh, trial against him did not proceed even a single inch because of certain reasons uh, now it's a matter of uh, Uh, I mean, I won't say I'm very happy because I don't express my happiness where, when somebody is punished. But it's a matter of uh, satisfaction that our efforts made by my team. They spent uh, months together in uh, uh, Srinagar and uh, other places in Kashmir, split the evidence, uh, make it uh, presentable to the court. and ultimately convinced to the convinced the court that it is uh, that the convinced the court about the full proof case against uh, yasin malik and uh, uh, i would appreciate uh, hats off to my team who did this wonderful job uh, our indian judiciary uh, our special judge also needs to be commended uh, who shown the Uh, guts to punish this person otherwise these people had uh, the feeling that they can do anything and get away with it so it's a matter of satisfaction uh, and uh, uh, i would congratulate my team again once again for this achievement with regards to the pakistan co- co- commission yeah, I, mr yeah, modi yeah. i wanted to ask you with regards to the link the links mr yeah. modi of uh, yasin malik with pakistan as someone who's covered yeah. the agency for almost a decade we all knew that there is a pakistan connection but for the longest time this pakistan connection was never being documented in fact yasin malik was having a free run he was coming to the national capital having conferences but today the pakistan connection mr modi why don't you tell all our viewers because today the entire nation is actually saluting you and your team for the kind of work that you all have actually put in tell our viewers about this pakistan connection of yasin malik this stooge who was garlanded by many here in the national capital no uh, shavan makes uh, it's uh, very unfortunate that everybody was seeing that he was regularly visiting pakistan connection uh, pakistan uh, high commission in delhi uh, they were getting openly funds from there uh it's it's well known it's known to everybody in kashmir that uh, uh, huriyat was selling seats for admission in pakistan medical colleges and that money was going being used for terrorism uh till uh, nia started working on terror funding uh, it was open and these people were uh, uh, collecting funds funds from the Border trade funds, funds from all illegal activities, funds were coming to them, which they were using for terrorism, and uh, it was well known that uh, some youths were being sent to Pakistan. This man, uh, uh, what uh, pro, uh, what trial evidence is required that uh, uh, Pakistan uh, all uh, top political people, including uh, the government, they are. Uh, 
very much perturbed or disturbed about uh, this person's uh, uh, conviction. Why should a country be concerned about uh, some person unless he is the, the stooge that uh, they, are, they are expressing that even they should take the help of China? This is, uh, the, this is the open proof and it's uh, the, to prove that uh, this, uh, this man was a stooge of Pakistan. Sean? Mr. Modi, if I can then... If I can then ask you, because when you took over as the chief of the National Investigation Agency, I'm given to understand that you took the call that Yasin Malik should be made an accused. The first set in the first set, Yakin, Yasin Malik was not an accused. When you took over and your team was investigating this case, you all decided that Yasin Malik should also be arrested. So I want you for the first time to tell our viewers what went behind deciding that Yasin Malik, it's high time to put Yasid Malik behind bars back in 2019 when you decided that he should be arrested. Uh, what led to this? Can you tell us a little bit more about the days following which the arrest actually took place, the, uh, the searches that were basically carried out? What went th through that? And were you wary? Because at the end of the day, there was this man was never touched in the past. Everyone knows about his things, but no one, no political dispensation, no central agency wanted to touch Yasin Malik. But under your leadership, you decided that, yes, we should go ahead and arrest Yasin Malik. Chavan, we, NIA is a professional investigation agency. We don't go after the individual. When evidence started coming on report that uh, on against different individuals, including Yasin Malik, when we had irrefutable evidence against him, then he was made an accused. We don't make, make anybody accused first and then collect evidence. It's the it's other way around. When we investigate our cases and the evidence comes on record that this man is liable for this offense, then only we uh, prosecute him. So in his case also, after uh, uh, one, one and a half years of investigation, then we found that there is adequated evidence against him. Then we uh, took a call, decided that we should arrest him, arrest him, interrogate him, and uh, uh, with the full support of our team, it's not because you have any individual working, it's, it's working by my team. And, uh, 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 and when we studied, and we took legal opinion on uh, the evidence against each individual, we have uh, our own mechanism, on the basis of that, when we found that there is a table evidence against him, then we decided to prosecute him. And uh, it was uh, uh, that way I'm happy that it was proved in the court uh, by the court of law that this man has uh, uh, committed these offenses and the heinous offense of committing wreaking war against the state. So, and um, in that which he, he has been given life imprisonment. Seven. One final question, Mr. One final question, Mr. Vaisi Bodhi, before I let you go. I know you've handled several such cases, but this case perhaps in your career must have, must have been one of the most uh, challenging. I want to ask you, when Yasid Walik was brought to the national capital, the questioning was actually take, uh, uh, was taking place. Did Yasid Malik actually admit, was there an admission made about his Pakistan links and what was the kind of reaction? Because many, want, many would like to know that this man was thinking that no one will ever touch him. But finally, he was arrested. So tell us just about what do you remember of the time that Yasin Malik was actually questioned about his links with Pakistan? It's, it's very interesting. He was very brazen. He would, he would never expect that he can be interrogated. He, can be, he would refuse to answer. And it's very interesting that one of our lady officers who was the DAG of the case, uh, when she started interrogating this woman, he said, I refuse to answer uh, any question to a lady officer. I mean, he, he thought that he, he can do anything and get away with it. Get away with it. And uh, uh, he will uh, do all type of tantrums. He will not eat food. He will uh, start giving very, uh, what to say, that uh, uh, that he is not well. All type of uh, dhammas he will uh, do. But uh, as professional police officers, uh, my team uh, ignored all that and uh, uh, started collecting evidence. And whatever he said, that was just to 
get corroboration of the evidence which he already had. So whether uh, he answers our questions or whether he doesn't answer any question, it, it didn't matter to us. So that way uh, we could, uh, uh, from our own efforts and on the evidence available on the record, uh, we, we decided to prosecute him. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vaisi Bodhi, for putting this in perspective. Uh, in fact, let me also tell our viewers uh, that from the time that uh, Mr. Modi uh, retired, this is for the first time that he's actually speaking to the media. And he's finally decided to do that only because of the importance of this case of Yasid Malik. That today, the interest would actually take a sort of relief. This man is to spend his entire life behind bars. Thank you very much, Mr. Modi, for speaking to Republic Media Network, his first interview, and him giving us full details of what really happened when Yasid Malik was arrested, a man who thought that no one will ever touch him. Uh, the verdict has been given by the court. In my view, it's not justice. It's not based on justice. They may claim it today. They may media and all that, corporate media, they will do whatever they want to do. They will cook up the stories here, there and all that to feed the uh, people of the country. But certainly, I must tell my experience is it is neither hanging nor sentencing, life imprisonments and all that. It will not help to restore the credibility of any move of the government of India as far as Kashmir is concerned. And it will create more and more alienation. It will open up the void much bigger in scale. And that is detrimental to the interests of the people.